so in this tutorial we're just going to look at how to update the data that we got from here which is going to be easy peasy to do since we already have the infrastructure so let me come back here to my uh, category class here let's go up here where we say edit right so we just need two things in order to be able to edit first of all we need the id of the row that we are editing and then we need the category name that we are editing too simple as that so i'm just going to copy all this from the delete and i will paste it here because that's exactly what we're going to need so we'll have our id and then we'll have our category so since we are using prepared statements uh, there's no need to do things this way so what i will say is i'm just going to say uh, i'm going to create an array here and put that in there like so and then i will say category here great so this one will represent that and then we'll have our id there okay so id category good and then let's just give those here as the second argument for our prepared statement and it's right because we are not expecting any result like uh, where you you're expecting a set of rows to be returned here we just expect true or false so we use right so here we're going to say in it's not insert it's update update categories set uh, category is equal to let's do that category where id is equal to and let's remove that let's do that because we are using prepared statements now id limit one and that's it so uh, we should be good to go here the only thing we need to do is now to send the information so this is show once we hit the save button what actually happens there so let's come back up here and this is this where is the save button collect edit data that's it so let's come back here to collect data function which is this one so make a version of our own here and name this one collect edit data like so so collect edit data and we have our e there okay so category input is equal to uh this is the item right there wait 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 category edit that's what we named it okay so it's category underscore edit okay that's the input and then we get please enter a value category name blah 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 uh, there we go and we'll change this to edit category so we have the data we have the data type but we also need um, an id right there so I want us to be able to get this ID that we are editing hmm okay so how do we get that this is the issue here so what I, one way we could do this is to set a global variable here so I'm just going to say var uh, edit id is equal to let's put it at zero so this is a global thing so once we click on show here okay we're going to update that value right at the top here we're going to say edit id is equal to id so that every time we click there we update the id of what we are editing so that we can use that to save when the time comes to save so collect edit data and then i will put the id right there like so okay 
I think uh, that does it. Now we go to our Ajax where we're receiving the data. And this is delete row right here. So we're just going to copy what delete row has for us. So I will actually just duplicate this here and then put my else statement here. And let's see what we are sending. It's edit category, copy, come back here, edit category, good. And then let me copy everything here, paste. And as usual, it's edit category. There we go, that's the data type we are returning. You, your row was successfully edited. So you may or may not want to show a message like that, but okay. So we are reading from the rows and getting them back, which is good. But then here we will say edit. Where is the class here? Yeah, so that's what we need. Edit, category, and ID. There we go. So I'll copy that, come back here. And we will do exactly that. Wait, let me paste it here for comparison. Okay, so it's edit. And then we'll get the ID, comma, and then we'll pass in the category itself. Category, like that. Let me come back here and confirm if this is true. So here, edit, we have data, no, this is not correct. So first of all, we have uh, ID here, ID. And then we have uh, category. Mm -hmm. So what would be the category itself? It's the data. Okay, so the data, the ID, and the data type. Okay, good. So let's come back here and category ID. Okay, this is looking good. I think it should work. So let's refresh our page. So hat, let's put a, a Z at the end. Just put a Z, save. Let's come back here. What errors have ensued? Okay, so it didn't work. Let's refresh. Oh, so it actually did edit, but it just didn't close the thing. So let's come back to, uh, where is this? Create, where are we, where are we? Oh, sorry, sorry. Everything here is correct. Let's go to categories. This is where the issue is. Oh, my battery is low. 